بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وبعد in جو 16 we continue with سورة الكهف الله سبحانه وتعالى said towards the end of the surah قل هل ننبئكم بالأخسرين أعمال الذين ضل سعيهم في الحياة الدنيا وهم يحسبون أنهم يحسنون صنع Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shall we tell you who are the greatest losers with respect to their deeds? They are those whose efforts have been wasted in this life while they thought that they were acquiring good by their deeds. This ayah underlines the importance of the aqidah, the importance of understanding who we worship, why we worship, and to ensure that all our deeds are only to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are only according to the authentic sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu This is an ayah which warns us against all forms of bidat, of starting off all kinds of new things which are not accepted in deen and therefore the person, he, he or she thinks they are doing something good but actually they are earning evil for themselves. May Allah protect us from ourselves. And then towards the end of the surah, the last ayat, قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ الْبَحْرُ مِدَادًا لِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّي لَنَفِدَ الْبَحْرُ قَبْلَ أَن تَنْفَضَ كَلِمَاتُ رَبِّي وَلَوْ جِئْنَا بِمِثْلِهِ مَدَدًا قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ يُحَا إِلَيَّ أَنَّمَا إِلَهُكُمْ إِلَهُ وَاحِدٌ فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَلَا يُشْرِكْ بِعِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ أَحَدًا the foundation of Tawheed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to mankind, if the sea were ink to write the words of my Rabb, surely the sea would be exhausted before the words of my Rabb would be finished, even if he brought another sea like it for its aid. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I am only a man like you. It has been inspired to me. I get wahi that your ilah, your God, your deity is only one and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever hopes for the meeting with his Rabb, let him work righteous deeds and associate none as a partner in the worship of his Rabb. This is very, very important. The maximum damage happens because we raise people to ranks which are not their ranks. We do that with, we Muslims do that with people we revere. Uh, the Christians that did that with Jesus with Isa alayhi salam and so on and so forth. This is a big trap that we must stay far away from. Then we have Surah Al-Maryam where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us uh, how to make dua. The dua of Zakaria alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Zikru rahmati rabbika abdahu Zakaria idh nada rabbahu nida'an khafiya qala rabbi inni wa hana al-azmu minni wa ashta'ara al-ra'su shayban wa lam akum bi du'aika rabbi shaqiya wa inni khiftu al-mawali min warai wa kanat imra'ati akhira fahabli min ladunka waliya yarithuni wa yarithu min ali yaqub waj'alhu rabbi radiya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this is a mention of the mercy of your Rabb to his slave Zakaria when he called out to his Rabb Allah a call in secret small voice saying, My Rabb, indeed, my bones have grown feeble, gray hair has spread on my head, and I have, but I have never been unblessed in my invocation, my dua to you, O oh my Rabb, and verily, I fear my relatives after me, because my wife is barren, so give me from yourself an heir, who will inherit me, and inherit also the mission of Yaqub, alayhi salam, of prophethood, and make him my Rabb, one with whom you are well pleased. Beautiful ayat, uh, and then the story of uh, Musa alayhi salam starts, and where Allah subhanahu wa taala uh, taught Musa alayhi salam uh, what to do, how to do, and this is the beginning of Surah Taha. Inna ni an Allahu la ilaha illa ana faabudni wa akimi salat li zikri. Allah subhanahu wa taala said to Musa alayhi salam. Uh, Verily, I am Allah, la ilaha illa ana, none has the right to be worshipped but I, so worship me and establish salah for my remembrance. Uh, this is the 
hukum to Musa alayhi salam and of course the same hukum applies to us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to be among those who establish salah and with whom he is pleased. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika